not have the great start, but not have great sequence of hurdles, and here we go. And they're off. Oh boy, it looks like wow, he's pulling the away. Eight nine four from Edwards, and they're off. Very tight opening out of the gate. Looks like it's going to be Johnson from RPI. Regional championship meet eight. next weekend, and the rest of your outdoor season. Awesome, thank you very much. Pleasure having you, Alex. There goes the gun and they're off. It's very strong star on the outside. Can Ian close the gap? It'll be Ian Klo at the line with the for third as she approaches 100 meters to go. As we enter the home straightaway, it's Kristen Ladado from Rochester as she's opened up a 10 meter lead as we approach the finish. And Ladado, sizable lead there to take home and secure that first place finish. Ah, Kristen Ladado. If she has a good enough finish, she could be very helpful for her team on the scoreboard. Jordan Herbert hits the home straightaway. It's oh. her and nobody else, Jordan Herbert Will it's win still Terhune and Schwan side by side. Here's the home straightaway. Mary Terhune on the inside. Schwan trying to make a move on the outside. It's still Terhune. Schwan making a surge in the end. Terhune tries to respond. That'll be a photo finish. We'll get those results. In eighth place, with a time of 27. Will Fisher from Union with a big surge on the whole back straightaway. He's moving out to lane two. And Dan Jones thinks he has the first, but he does not. He is being passed. Will Fisher has moved into the lead as we enter the home straightaway. He's pumping his arms. He's tightening up just a little bit, but it's going to be Will Fisher pulling away to win this first heat of the men's 800. Into the home straightaway, it's Daniel Alara, followed by Frank Sinappi, but Daniel Alara will take home the second heat of this men's 800. Final stretch, and this bend will see how those athletes shape out as they hit the straightaway. Looks like Teach has a slight lead, but she might lose it. Alp Teets is pulling away and she gets the win. Straight away now. And Burrell coming on very strong. She is not willing to let this slip from her hands. A very easy victory for Burrell here. Let's see these unofficial RIT times. athlete whose name is not listed. It looks like it's Travis Homre going into the final stretch with this lead. He has the lead it's, and it's a win for Travis Homre. With the time As Ithaca of takes the lead going to this final straight away. And Ithaca has it with a time of 22. Sean O'Connor continues to lead as we approach 100 meters to go. Sean O'Connor is extending the lead. But Otto's trying to make a move here. We enter the home straightaway. It's Sean O'Connor in the lead. Sean O'Connor is going to win the men's 3,000 meter run here at the Liberty League Championship meets. Otto Kingstead takes second, a very impressive race by these two guys. Running out slightly. We're on the final straightaway. RIT is holding their lead. Will they finish? It is. RIT wins the girls four by four, closely followed by Rochester. RPI, Ithaca. It's Christopher Kaleho. Here we go, here's the home straightaway. It's Dan Harden Marshall with daylight out in front of him. Dan Harden Marshall secures the victory.
for Ithaca College, followed by RPI, RIT, St. Lawrence, and Rochester. By his team. Maybe this is the energy he needs to be able to clear it. And he goes, he and... looks good. Oh! And he clears yes! it! Terrence Lawrence clearing 1.98 meters.